everybody. This is Irma from Food for Healthy Bones, and I'm here with Skelly, the skeleton that lives in us all. This is part of my I Hate to Cook series because, as you may remember, I don't really like to cook. I like to keep things really simple, but I love to eat, love to eat and feed my bones. So this is going to be the squash, the winter squash series. We're going to be cooking two different squashes, a spaghetti squash and these beautiful delicata squashes. The first thing we're going to do is cut off the sides. That makes it easier to slice it in half. And so I put it up like this and then I give it a, a slice right down the middle. Again, here are the seeds and we can do the same thing with these seeds or not. But now that you know that seeds are a good part of vitamins and minerals and protein and fiber. So as I cut up these three squashes, I'm going to do cut them further into half moons once I clean out the inner part of the squash itself. So I take my spoon and I simply scoop it all out. So you could see how the fibrous attachments are very much holding on to the seeds. And again, I'm not, a, I'm not a really clean cook, so things will be flying all over the place with me. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut them in crescent moons. Now you could, this is where you could tell that I really don't like to cook because I don't have that cooker's grip, you know, that bear clog thing. I don't have that. I know that that's the way you're supposed to do it, but ah, I tried. It just doesn't seem to work for me. So I do it my way. And then I'm going to put these crescent moons into a bowl and I'm going to coat them with whatever I want to cook them with. This particular time we're going to be using coconut oil, cinnamon, a particular kind of cinnamon, which is Ceylon cinnamon, C-E-Y-L-O-N, salt and pepper. And it's really that simple. Put all the ingredients into the bowl and then we'll dress it with the oil, the salt, the cinnamon. And then we're going to bake it for 400, at 400 degrees uh, until they're done. And you'll know they're done because it depends on how you like them. Some people like them cooked very well. I sort of like them that way. And some people don't want them to be that dark, but that's a personal choice. Skelly, what are you thinking? You're very quiet there, Skelly. Skelly loves this kind of squash. Actually, this is a good time of the year for Skelly. Doing a lot of internal work. All right, so my, um, my crescent moons are in here of my delicata squash. And I'll put about, oh, about a tablespoon, even though I'm using a teaspoon, about a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Salt, sea salt. Pepper. And about a tablespoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to mush it all together. Blend it nicely. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like apples. I don't know why. Oh, the cinnamon, yeah. You just want to make sure everything is coated. The coconut oil will melt even more so. Put it into my, my baking sheet, which is this glass container here. A little extra cinnamon didn't get coated. Move it around and put it in the oven. 400 degrees until they're done. About 25 minutes, but we'll check. I'm about to put the delicata squash into a 400 preheated oven. I want to make sure that they are single layered. I had a little too much in the beginning, so I took some out. And before I do that, I want to tell you some of the values of delicata squash. So these, this is three squashes that I put together, and this has about 21 grams of carbohydrates, small amount of protein, two to four grams of fiber, and a tremendous whopping vitamin A. 
22,849 international units of vitamin A. This is in these three squash. But it has vitamin C, manganese, potassium, magnesium, E, small amount of B6, thiamine, niacin. It has a little bit of folate, a little bit of calcium, iron, copper, and phosphorus. So you get a big, big, big mineral and vitamin bang for your buck. And they're so affordable and they're so good for you. Delicata squash. What do you think about that, Skelly? Yeah, Skelly loves delicata squash. All right, so my delicata squash has been cooking away for about 10 minutes, but I want to start turning it over so it cooks well on both sides. Oh, this looks very pretty. All right, so this has been cooking about 25 minutes at 400 degrees, and now it's ready to consume it. I'm going to give it a little taste. Hmm, which one should I try? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Great flavor, soft, nourishing, perfect for a wintry day. And again, this is one of those things you could cook once, eat it two or three times. So I'm going to add it as a side dish to my, to my lunch. And that's it. Food for healthy bones. Bye.